well it's summer and I'm back at the cafe as usual uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do today but the main thing is to get some tea and cake down down me I've really got any plans. It's forecast to rain later, so I might have a mooch about somewhere and see if I can probably in some woods or some but next to some stream see if I can get any nice pictures there. It's uh, milky sky, it's overcast, so we'll see what happens later on. Your channel's crap. If you don't like my channel, you can always go somewhere else. Got the 70 to 200 on, and I'm at 70. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this rock, and I'll try first a little bit of this cascade here, yeah. off by about there, and also sort of crop it in about there. Well, giving a dark bit, see that bright bit there, so a dark bit just above there to sort of like. Uh, frame the shot to keep it sort of like uh, contained so it's got a dark a bright bit and then the, the band the main subject which is that rock and then dark um, pool bit of bright cascade flowing out of the picture that's what I'll, I'm hoping to do the usual thing f11 and I'll just shoot it at whatever um, I think I'll leave the shine on it because um, I won't put a polarizer on because it's it sort of brightens it up you see you know well I'll try one without a polarizer and see how that looks and then decide whether I need one later on so that's what I'm going to do now Now I've going to try the uh, 17 to 40 now, so and I'm shooting about 40 uh, just to get more of this cascade down here. The rock is sort of min minimi 
spent smaller, <laughs> spent smaller in the composition. And what I've really done is I've just kept the same height I was shooting at before for the top of the frame and just let it extend down whether that's it to cover more of this. Uh, I might do, um, I don't know what to do, I might crop it, I might not, I haven't decided yet. Uh, just sort of like uh, get um, a good lot of this in. Yeah, I've got to go now, the light's coming, so I've got to shoot this. So, one, two, three. See, the light's coming now. Shoot at that. And I just quickly set it on the, uh, the auto bracketed landscape setting just because the sun came out. So I'll try one with the sun and one without because sometimes these things are so fleeting if you haven't got time to um, do a proper exposure you need something you can just switch the dial to and you can just focus and fire and that hopefully will capture the moment. Uh, I don't know where I've got it yet but uh, Yeah, I've got a bit of the light, but not a lot of it now. Now it's gone flat now, which is all right, which uh, I really am quite happy with because you get no sort of specular highlights and things. But it's good to have a, have, a, have a bit of a variety in these things. So right now I'll just, uh, I'll take one in this subdued light and then see how that looks. Here's the, here's the pictures now. Right, I've come a bit further up now and I'm zooming into the just the rock now, no cascades. That is the main subject with um, this sort of tree coming out the top and what I call it and this little branch here in the corner of the frame. So it just uh, gives an interest so you read it from the small branch to the rock and then up to the trees. Hopefully it'll be a nice composition, I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. Right, what I've done is I've um, pulled back out to include the, uh, the, th the shadow in the frame just because it looks a bit weird with the shadow sort of running off the edge of the frame and it sort of looked uh, as if the, th the rock was on like some sort of pedestal so I've, I've, in I've opened it up a bit and I've included the shadow and it looks a lot nicer composition than the previous one See what I've done here is I've taken one with, where's it gone, with that rock in the shot and that rock bookending it over there, so off by there, probably off by about here and then I've done a closer one which is just on there and slightly tighter in. So I've tried it with and without the polarizer and uh, the polarizer gives you better colours um, but it does increase the um, the milkiness of the water which oh, I don't really like so but that's how it goes but 
we'll see what happens when I get back to the studio and have a look at these things. Well, what I'm trying to do is a tight shot round here, just with this sort of trees are being prominent thing and this little cascade coming down. Um, it's just starting to rain now, so I'm going to call it a day. It was forecast, and it's forecast to be showery for a long time. Also, it's getting late. It's probably about eight o'clock now at night. So, also, <laughs> these soles falling off my boots. My temporary re um, repair is is temporary, <laughs> so I've got a wet foot now. <laughs> it's getting really dark in here, so. I'll have to do that again, I think I've moved the camera. Right, I'm heading off home now. Oh, I've decided not to put the coat on because that rain's quite refreshing. It's quite warm and humid. And I'm reckon I'm sweating more than I'm getting wet. So please like and subscribe so I can afford a new pair of boots. <laughs> I'll try and glue them back up again. So that's it for now. Bye bye. Nice and refreshing. Probably see by that phone box, you probably work out where I am if you know the Lake District really well. Oh, it's getting worse, so I've got to go. In fact, just look at that there. Uh, uh, there. <laughs> Big cloud coming in. Looks a lot worse in real life than it does on the camera. But that's life. But not long to go now until I'm nice and damp in the car. Not dry, damp. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> and here's my new Italian fan. Yes. What's your name? My name's Julia. <laughs> Julia. She's from Tuscany. Tuscany. Right. Yes. And she's on holiday uh, in the Lake District. Vacanza. Come and see you. Vacanza. See. Holiday. Holiday. Yes. Are you having a good time? Um, per quanto tempo dice? Yes, tantissimo, tantissimo. Very good. <laughs> Dai, Rosy, dimmi le parole tutti, posti bellissimi. Beautiful uh, panorama. Panorama landscape, yeah. Yes. Very good. Lo <laughs> diranno, perché guarda di là, no? <laughs> I'm sure Google will translate no. that for you. C'è suggerito, il suggeritore. <laughs> Carino, li fai di mestiere queste cose qua? Diglielo un po', Rosy. This is your job. Your job. Uh, I'm hoping it will be my job okay. later on, you see, that's it. I'm doing it as an amateur at the moment. Okay. So yeah. any any likes, likes and subscribes, please, please do, especially from Italy. Cosa hai detto, Rosy? Se si vogliono, alcune persone se si vogliono abbonare, specialmente da Italia. Ah, carino. Lei, my sister. Oh, your sister, yes, very good. Yeah. <laughs> so where, where are you going next then in, in the Lake District? Rosie, uh, traduci. What do you do? Uh, 
Ambleside. Ambleside, yes. yes. Very nice. Henry Coniston. Coniston, yeah, good. We stay in uh, uh, Elterwater. Elterwater, yes. Very, very nice, yes. yeah. That's, well, that's lovely, yeah. Well, well, I, I reckon if you like vegetarian food, Ze Zeffirelli's in Ambleside is quite good. Okay. And if you want a cheaper alternative, the Walnut Fish Fish and Chip Shop is is just Walnut. across the road. Excellent. <laughs> and you know what we want? We want also an English tea with scones and and. Uh, Are you sure? It's bad. It's bad for the old figure. You know that's no, it. No, <laughs> but it's like they come here once in a lifetime. <laughs> well. Actually, I don't know where to get that. You, <laughs> you, probably, okay. you probably can get that here. Probably can get yeah, yeah. They, might, they might do cream teas at Fairyland Cafe uh, on the banks of Gra uh, Grasmere. <laughs> There's a plug for you. <laughs> uh, okay, quindi, come si dice? Ti saluto. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Buona serata, buon pomeriggio. <laughs> non è molto abituato a parlare la vostra lingua, vabbè, comunque, è lo stesso. Oh, ciao, ciao, buona ciao. giornata, ciao. Ciao. Cinque. ciao. Ciao, see you. Ciao. Bye. That was my newest fan.